Okay, so this is my Jed Match um, information. Um, basically, okay, so this is my Jed Match information. Um, basically, this is going to give us a little bit of a difference. Um, this says that I'm 41% North Atlantic, 20% Baltic, 15.82% West Mediterranean, 11.29% East Mediterranean, 5.83% West Asian, 2.54% Red Sea, 1.55% American Indian, 1.3% Northeast African, 0.32% Oceanian, 2.28% Sub-Saharan, and 0.03% East Asian. So then it breaks down a little bit more over here, and it shows um, West German, French, South Dutch, Austrian, Southeast English, Northern German, Spanish, Cataluna, East German, Portuguese, and a lot of these go along with being either Irish, English, um, Scandinavian, or Italian. Um, so none of these are that surprising. Um, those are the sources that it's saying that I aligned with. Now, when you come here, it tells you what, where you kind of align um, to the primary populations. So you see a lot of Dutch, German, um, Norwegian, um, that kind of thing, Southwest English, Southeast English. And you're going to notice here is Askenazi Jewish, Askenazi Jewish, Algerian Jewish, Italian Jewish, Italian Jewish, Tunisian Jewish, Tunisian Jew Jewish, Libyan Jewish, Algerian Jewish. Libyan Jewish. So this is showing that I do have Jewish um, DNA, for lack of a better um, point. I do also have Egyptian, um, Tuscan, that kind of thing. Um, so it's saying, yes, I'm West German, but for, first they were Algerian. Yes, I'm Southern Dutch, but first they were Libyan Jews. Or Acadian, I was also Algerian Jewish. So it kind of tells you where this percentage of the population originated. Um, so we do have a lot of Ashkenazi type stuff. Um, so basically, this is showing what my top 20 population sharing is. Um, as far as where they were from and where they started. Um, but that's showing the basic sources of what I am. And it aligns more along with the MyHeritage um, DNA as opposed to the updated Ancestry DNA. So that is something that we are working on. Okay, so now this is my MyHeritage ethnicity. Um, as you can see here, it says I'm 57.6% English, 14% Irish Scottish, 4.9% Scandinavian, 3% Finnish, 13.9% Greek, and 6.6% Middle Eastern. Okay, so this is my Jed Match information. Um, basically, this is going to give us a little bit of a difference. Um, this says that I'm 41% North Atlantic, 20% Baltic, 15.82% West Mediterranean, 11.29% East Mediterranean, 5.83% West Asian, 2.54% Red Sea, 1.55% American Indian, 1.3% Northeast African, 0.32% Oceanian, 2.28% Sub-Saharan, and 0.03% East Asian. So then it breaks down a little bit more over here, and it shows um, West German, French, South Dutch, Austrian, Southeast English, Northern German, Spanish, Cataluna, East German, Portuguese, and a lot of these go along with being either Irish, English, um, Scandinavian, or Italian. Um, so none of these are that surprising. Um, those are the sources that it's saying that I aligned with. Now, when you come here, it tells you what where you kind of align um, to the primary populations. So you see a lot of Dutch, German, um, Norwegian, um, that kind of thing, Southwest English, Southeast English. And you're going to notice here is Askenazi Jewish, Askenazi Jewish, Algerian Jewish, Italian Jewish, Italian Jewish, Tunisian Jewish, Tunisian Jew Jewish, Libyan Jewish, Algerian Jewish, Libyan Jewish. So this is showing that I do have Jewish 
um, DNA, for lack of a better um, point. I do also some Egyptian, um, Tuscan, that kind of thing. Um, so it's saying, yes, I'm Western, but for the first they were Algerian. Yes, I'm Southern Dutch, but first they were Libyan Jews. Or Acadian, I was also Algerian Jewish. So it kind of tells you where this percentage of the population originated. Um, so do have a lot of Ashkenazi type stuff. Um, so basically, this is showing what my top 20 population sharing is. Um, as far as where they were from and where they started. Um, but that's showing the basic sources of what I am. And it aligns more along with the MyHeritage um, DNA as opposed to the updated Ancestry DNA. Hey guys, so just so you know, when you get to part two of this, I'm going to have on the same clothes because I'm filming this all at once. One day down and done. Um, so anyhow, these are, th this, these are three companies that my DNA is at. The original test was done through Ancestry. I downloaded my raw data and I forwarded it to MyHeritage as well as the other site. Now, the other site is a more inclusive site. It has way more people that have put their information in. So basically, you have people from MyHeritage, uh, one 2 3 on me, um, Ancestry, all those different companies are getting back their raw data results and putting them on this one site. Um, it's a little bit more technical, so it takes a little bit more time to figure out how it works, that kind of thing. Um, but it will give you a more defined answer to a lot of things. Um, whereas, you know, um, originally, um, the ancestry showed me as having Jewish genetics. Um, then when it changed, it took those away. Um, and it also had said I had Native American at one point and then it took that away. And we, we know we have Native American in us because of my, our genealogy. Um, I have a grandma that was actually born on a tribal land. I'm having trouble proving that she was born because she changed her name. And so all I have is her name change name, not her Indian birth name. But her place of birth is in an area where there were only Indians at the time. It's the original settlement of South Carolina. Um, so it's, you know, or North Carolina, I'm sorry. So it's a little bit hinky. I got to see if I can figure it out. Unfortunately, there's not tons of records from that time, so I don't know what else we can do. Um, but I'm going to see if I can do more research on her and find more information. Um, but yeah, so I mean, one of my goals this year or next year, hopefully, with this channel is to be able to travel to some of the places I know my family lived and see what kind of information is out there. Because a lot of stuff, you have to do the footwork. Um, Wells, Maine is somewhere I want to go to. Um, so I would trace back family to there. And then I would end up back in Boston. I'll end up at... Um, Flint Plantation. Um, I will end up in one of the original North Carolina settlements um, and that kind of thing. And so I'm really interested in checking all this information out and verifying more information about my relatives, see if there's photos out there, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that is where I'm at. Those are my DNA, that's my DNA information. And I'll be doing um, more videos on what I'm finding who my family members are and that kind of thing. Um, also, we're talking about an app that I use that is tracing people I'm related to that are famous um, and whether or not I think it's legit, that kind of thing. So stay tuned. Watch more of my genealogy messages. I'm going to try to post these every Monday. Um, and if I don't have information, I probably just won't post because this is kind of my extra video for the week. So thanks for watching. Have a great week. Bye.